Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the student t distribution. If we had given a random variable x, which is normally distributed with mean 0 and standard deviation 1, and an independent random variable, let's say z, which is chi squared with k degrees of freedom, then we consider the quotient I'll define a new random variable t, which is this random variable x divided by the square root of z over k. So this ratio over here of these random variables, a normal 0, 1 random variable over an independent, over the square root of an independent chi-squared random variable with k degrees of freedom over k, averaged out, then these variables are called t distributions. This is a t distribution with k degrees of freedom. Where do these t distributions arise? Recall that if we want to standardize a random variable, a normal random variable, if we wish to standardize a normal random variable, then what we can do is we can say, OK, I can look at x bar, for example. So I can average the x bars, subtract off its mean, which is mu, and divide by its what? Sigma over root n, its standard deviation. So this random variable will be normally distributed with mean 0, because you subtract off the mean, and you've normalized it so the standard deviation is 1. So to standardize a random variable, the average of a random variable, for example, the average statistic, what you can do is you can subtract off the mean by subtracting off the mean that centers it. So it centers it so that its mean is 0. The expected value of the top is going to be 0. When I do the variance of this, the variance of x bar is sigma squared over n. I'll pull out the sigma squared over root n from the denominator, and I have sigma squared over n over sigma squared over n. The variance will be equal to 1. So this representation over here is a way of writing x bar in terms of its standardizing x bar by centering it and scaling it. Now, oftentimes, we do not know what sigma is when it's the population variance. So what is our estimate, our unbiased estimate, of sigma squared, of sigma. Recall that our unbiased, our unbiased estimate of sigma squared, right, was s squared. So what we want to do is we want to replace this sigma with s. So now we can consider this distribution and figure out what it looks like. So let's consider x bar minus mu over s over the square root of n. Okay, so I replace sigma with s. I replace my population standard, uh, my population standard deviation, with my unbiased estimate of it, my, my s. Okay, now I'd like to know what this distribution is. Assuming, of course, we're assuming here that x1, xn are normally distributed with mean 0 and variance sigma squared. Okay? So now what we'd like to do is we'd like to say, oh, how can I make the top into what? I can algebraically manipulate this and make the top into a normal 0, 1 random variable by doing the following. I can look at x bar minus mu divided by, so I divide the top by sigma over the square root of n. That makes the numerator a normal 0, 1 random variable. So I divide the numerator by that. I should also divide the denominator by that. So I'm going to have a what? I'm going to divide s over root n. So what would s over root n divided by sigma over root n be? It would just be s over sigma, right? So this is going to be an s over sigma. Good. And so now what? So now I can square this, right? This is x bar minus mu 
over sigma square root n, all divided by the square root of s squared over sigma squared. The square root of s squared over sigma squared. And now I'm going to do one last thing over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a factor underneath this square root. Let's extend this off a little bit. I'll put an n minus 1 on the top and an n minus 1 on the bottom. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll look at this ratio over here. This ratio, s squared over sigma squared times n minus 1 is chi squared with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So this circle part is chi squared n minus 1. So what we have over here for this ratio over here of x bar minus mu over s root n is exactly equal to what? This has the form of a normal 0, 1 random variable over what? the square root of a chi squared with n minus 1 degrees of freedom from a previous result over n minus 1. So the conclusion from this is that this ratio over here, x bar minus mu over s square root n, is what? x bar minus mu over s root n is a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. Thank you very much.